Adding a new font to your website is actually incredibly easy. It's so easy, I bet I can actually do this video in one take. So let's give it a shot. I'm gonna go to a new tab, type in google.com forward slash fonts. This is Google's font page. There's a lot of other options out there. There's like defont.com, which is great, a whole bunch of other ones. Uh, Google Fonts, though, is one of the easiest to get things implemented, so we're just gonna start with this. And let's look for crimson. Because on our 37 signals page, we use crimson semi bold. So let's go and find that. So this style pops up right here, crimson text, six styles. We're going to click, make this a bit bigger for you to see. We're going to click on this little right arrow right here, the quick use. So let's click into that. Scroll down a little bit. So here we have the different styles. We have six different ones. Normal, normal italic, semi bold, semi bold italic, bold, and bold italic. All right, that's great. Well, let's say, okay, we want to use every single one of these fonts. So let's just check them all off. And we can use them all if we want to. However, you might have noticed that as we were checking them off, this speedometer thing over here started to increase and now says 558. If I take some off, the number shrinks down. But if I have them all up there, it's 558. So what is this number? This speedometer actually displays how much slower your page loads by milliseconds. So there are 1,000 milliseconds in one second which means that this loads slower by about half a second. That's actually a good amount of time. So you definitely do not want to have all these fonts on here. I'm just going to stick with semi-bold, which only slows it down by about a tenth of a second. I'm okay with that. We're going to scroll down here, and we get this link in step number three. And we're just going to grab this. We're going to copy it. Go back to our code here. And we're just going to put it right into the head of our html document we'll go back we'll scroll down it says actually how to integrate it into your css so you just need to write font family and then in quotes crimson text be sure to capitalize let's go back in here we're going to quickly create style tags again you definitely want to put this in a separate css i'm just doing this so that you can easily see this and look at the page at the same time we do h1, clean that up a little bit, move this over, and then I'll refresh the page, and the font family changed. Be sure to include more than one font family just on the safe side in case for some reason somebody's browser might not read crimson text. But that's how easy it is to get a new font right into your page.